Hey guys, Rishabh here from CE Tech and this is a review of the AOSP ROM for Xiaomi Redmi Note 3. Let me just show you the about phone of this ROM. So as you can see it runs on Android 5.1.1 Lollipop. The performance on this ROM is pretty good. It is equivalent or better than the original MIUI ROM but in RAM management it is definitely better and it can handle multitasking very well better than the original MIUI ROM. The ROM is pretty smooth and there are no hiccups while using uh, the phone. As you can see you can easily multitask and which is obviously better than MIUI. This is because this ROM is Android AOSP which is very light compared to MIUI skin on top of this. Now the benefits that come with this ROM are that this ROM is very lightweight and it comes with root as you can see here and you also get all the benefits of rooting. Also you can install exposed framework which I have installed over here and with exposed framework you can install modules like gravity box and have many custom tweaks and you can also install themes with help of layers theme manager which works on AOSP and there are many themes like this one over here you can download them from play store and apply them talking about the benchmarks of this ROM So as you can see it scores a score of 73500 which is comparable to the other score I have posted running on the MIUI. So there are no issues in the performance department. The fingerprint issue which was a thing of the past has been fixed now as you can see I will put my finger over here and it will unlock easily. Let me just show you how to add a fingerprint over here. So you go to security and fingerprint here you can add more fingerprints like this and use them to unlock your device talking about the camera performance of this ROM let me just uh, just take a quick snap of this so as you can see the picture is pretty decent the quality is as good as the MIUI version before the last OTA which was of 192 MB. After that the image quality on the MIUI ROM has gone a bit better. But here the quality is as good as before that OTA update. Finally talking about the bugs in this ROM. So there are no major bugs in this ROM. This ROM is completely usable and for daily purpose. However, there are some small issues which can be fixed later on, which might not be significant to you, but might be significant to some people. The first issue here being is that the fingerprint sensor is a bit slower than that on the MIUI ROM. It does work. However, it is a bit slow. Another issue which is slightly bigger than the fingerprint sensor is that there is some amount of lag in Facebook or any app which runs on Wi-Fi. This was also fixed on the 192MB OTA update by MIUI but it's not fixed over here yet. The battery life is as good as MIUI, there are no issues with that. I was flashing a lot in this period so there is not much to show otherwise the battery life is good. So if you're like me coming from a Nexus or AOSP running device and who can't bear MIUI, this ROM is perfect and will be updated regularly, I assume so, and any issues even if undetected by me 
will be fixed. If you want to unlock your device and root it or flash an AOSP ROM or any other ROM like this one, the tutorial will be provided in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you liked our video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more.